Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need your very own website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner. Listen to that. If that is not good for the mind, I, I do not know what is. What time are we at here? Half past five. You know what I believe? I believe these sounds that you can hear around me are what we're supposed to be hearing as humans. You know, not, not the, the, the city, the droning noise of a city, of cars, of machines. This is what tell you what absolutely beautiful so welcome back to the channel I probably look quite tired because it's so early half past five uh, and I'm not usually one to come out in the mornings but when I came to this area in last week's video and I went up Maiden Moor and I had that gorgeous view back down towards Durham Moor which is this very lake I just said I've got to come back and these sort of what would they be like the western shores of Durham Moor I've got all these beautiful small little secluded bays I suppose you'd call it especially compared to the other side where it can get quite busy um, and I just thought it'd be a lovely place to come with my camera and just chill out a bit you know don't always feel like I have to come to the Lake District and go on a big hike this is just as just as if not you know even nicer especially when you get a morning like this as well Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Whoa, that looks pleasant on the back of the camera. So the first shot I'm taking, and this was kind of the plan, you know, it wasn't set in stone, but I wanted to keep things nice, nice and calm, nice and relaxed. Not like when I'm up a fell and I'm uh, going mad. <laughs> just, just enjoy the serenity, I suppose. And this photograph is reflecting that in a way, and. I'm just keeping it as simple as possible. We've got this this western shoreline that I've spoken about of Durham Water that's just taking us, it's leading us out into the scene. We've got Blencathra, we've got a decent sky, you know, we're pre-sunrise at the minute, still about 20 minutes, so we've just got this kind of peachy orange glow. It's absolutely gorgeous and it really is serene. I'm zoomed in slightly about 60 mil just to crop the scene you know we've got a few trees on the left hand side um, here close to us that I don't want in the scene I find them a little bit too distracting they're too big <laughs> they don't balance nicely with anything off in the background and what's nice as well is Blencathra the main peak that's going to be in this this photograph he's sort of silhouetted because of his, his position sort of in front of where the sun's coming up absolutely wonderful so lovely and simple that really is the name of this shot um, and you know, no filters, nothing at all like that. ISO 64, F11, and half a second. Even the settings are as simple as it gets. You know what makes this photograph, which I hope is going to be really noticeable when you see it, it's the reflections of the pre sunrise glow in Derwent Water. Oh, serene. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the sun, he's just starting to come up now, what are we? They, they, oh, we are about 10 minutes past the sunrise, but he's not made an appearance just yet because I guess he's got to come up and over the horizon. But I don't mind because what we're getting at the minute is this, I'm shooting in exactly the same direction. It, it should be quite a different photograph, but I'm shooting in the same direction as the first image that I got. So back towards Blencastro, but we're getting this nice sort of orangey glow now as the light is starting to spread towards Blencastro, which is cool. I was just thinking about this then as I was setting up. I wasn't really thinking that much about composition, you know, I just stumbled upon this scene where we've got some nice trees on this peninsula. And then as we go across, you know, we've got Blencastro, the nice lights are looking a bit bright to you there, but, and then we've got Walla Crag. And it just works, you know, the trees balance nicely with Walla Crag, Blencastra is a nice central element to the image, the light's nice, the lake is lovely, we're getting the light reflected off them ripples, we've got some nice rocks here in the foreground, and I didn't really give it that much thought, but I was thinking about it, that in a way kind of ties in nicely with the, the chilled out nature of, of the morning really. And I think sometimes, not all the time, but I do think sometimes it's nice to just sort of I don't know what you'd call it, like shoot what you see. You just see it, it works, it looks decent. Have a little go at it. It reminds me actually of when I was first starting out, you know, when I was just enjoying, um, yeah, photographing things for, for what they were, you know, whereas now, because I'm so into it, and I guess because I do it for a living as well, dare I say it, I just, I think so much more into my compositions and look, that's a good thing, of course it is, and that's my passion. To me, that is the passion of landscape photography, is that challenge of composition. But this is nice. This makes for a nice change of just like, yeah, it looks decent, let's grab a shot. So, oh, that makes sense. I'm doing a panel um, here, and I'm shooting probably about five shots from right to left, and exactly like I just explained to you. Starting at Walla Crag, which is there, is it? Yep. And then finishing at the trees and then everything in between, like I just explained, just fits in nicely. You know, ISO 64, um, one eighth of a second. And I'm shooting at F14 because I'm just focusing on these rocks down here in the foreground, which are gonna be in the foreground. Yeah, I'm at about 40 mil. So it's fairly wide. I'm getting quite a lot in this shot. Um, so yeah, F14, it means the focus is gonna be fine throughout the image for me, that'll do. And that's it, of course, it's a panel, so I've made sure that my, my camera's level, my tripod's level, I've got this bowl head on this tripod, which is fantastic. It means that I can easily level things out. And then I also level with the electronic level on the camera as well, and then, you know, that's, that's never failed me. It's never let me down. Um, yeah, and that's it. Same with any panel, make sure your focus is the same with all photographs, do not change that. Make sure your settings are the same with all photographs, do not change that and expose for the highlights like you would if it was a single shot. Oh, the light is looking like it's getting nice now. But yeah, shoot what you see. So I'm just, just keeping an eye on what's going on behind us here. Um, the sun obviously is coming over some of the fells now out to the east and it's lighting up some of these smaller fells off towards the Borrowdale Valley. We'll get into that in a second. Firstly, I wanted to say as always another huge thanks to Squarespace for kindly sponsoring today's video. If you don't know who they are, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create your own website, which is exactly what I did over three years ago now and um, I used Square, uh, Squarespace before they sponsored my YouTube channel and uh, I'm really proud to still use them. It's a fantastic service and it's so easy. They've got loads of wonderful templates that you can use to get your own website up and running and then like I always say, you can customize those templates on top of that to really make the site your own. They also have wonderful e-commerce options actually, which is where I sell 
uh, products, I suppose, to you guys. You know, my prints, my ebooks. Um, I advertise my one-to-one -one workshops on there, my calendars as well when it's that sort of season. Um, so, you know, without your support, I wouldn't be able to make it work. But without my Squarespace website, I certainly wouldn't be able to run this as a business, which is absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, they've got fantastic customer service as well, um, which is something that I've always found with Squarespace. If you'd like to give them a go, go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner. Get yourself a complete free trial and if you like that make sure that you use the offer code Henry Turner at checkout to get yourself 10% off your first purchase brilliant um, I need to make the most of this light now absolute class oh, so to be honest I, I was a little bit worried about this morning uh, not worried but I, I was sort of thinking am I gonna be able to get more than one photograph. I was thinking if I'm only coming to this one location, you know, quite a small stretch of lakeshore, is every photograph not going to be exactly the same? No, <laughs> is, is, the, is your answer. Um, it's no different to when you're up a fell, to be honest, um, especially when you've got the focal range. You know, I've got this quality 24 to 200 millimeter lens, and I mean, I've used a good amount of that focal range already, and now I'm zoomed in about 120 mil looking back towards, uh, back into the Borrowdale Valley. We've got Castle Crag, and like I said, we've just got that light starting to hit some of those fells now. I'm gonna grab a shot there as well, actually. Absolutely class. And it's lovely. And I do feel like all the shots that I'm getting are all quite different. And that's good, you know, that's good. Um, so this one, again, I do feel sometimes simplicity is key, vast majority of the time. You know, there's no need to mess about there's no need to overcomplicate um, um, your compositions really at all. We've got a small bit of dirt water at the bottom, taking up probably not even a quarter of the image. We've got a nice little white house in the frame. I've put him on the bottom left third, he fits in nicely. And then we've just got this row of trees just in front of all the mountains that are catching that light. Absolutely class. And if you watched last week's video, um, I spoke all about the importance of, of clouds and skies and how I think we as landscape photographers should really try and gain an appreciation of them. And we've definitely got a gorgeous sky on the go as well. So it does feel like a lot of elements have come together for this one as well. Living the dream. So I've been wandering around this little peninsula that I'm on here and I've really wanted to try and make some of, of, of at least one of these oak trees. I found this one here. I don't know what it is. I just love the way he's sort of leaning out into Derwentwater. He's taking us into the scene or, you know, that's the way that I've, I've photographed it anyway. And I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about the composition, but we'll see, you know, just shooting what I see, you know, keep it going with the sort of a relaxed feeling of today's um, today's video, today's adventure. Um, so what caught my eye about this tree in the first place, same with all of them here actually, is the way that the light is hitting it. So on the one side, if, in fact you can see it on my jacket, perfect example, this side the light is um, hitting my jacket, same as the tree, and then on the back, where we're going back into the peninsula, away from the lake, it's like casting shadow. So it looks really, really nice. It's very subtle, actually a lot more subtle than it looks on my jacket by the looks of it on my little screen there. But I like it. And also, because we're in spring, these leaves are, uh, are so nicely vibrant, you know, they're like a sort of lime green colour. It's wonderful. Now the only thing I am unsure about is uh, the way that the tree trunk comes up through the frame 
and he sort of blocks off Skidor and Blencathra and you know the fells off in the background. Um, and I'm not sure it feels right, but I'm giving it a go. There's definitely something about it that I like. Um, I've shot this ISO 64 F11 and 1 30th of a second. The histogram is so stretched out, but it's going to be absolutely fine. I think actually this is a really good example of how good the dynamic range is on my camera. I'm really lucky because looking here, even in real life, I mean, even look at it as you see it there, the tree's black and then look at that, it's so bright. Um, and yeah, that's what it looks like in real life as well. And we're shooting in the direction of where the sun is coming up. Um, but yeah, something a little bit different. I've just focused on the oak tree. We'll see how it turns out. So I think the light has potentially gone a little bit harsh now and uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm a big fan. But I'm quite happy with the shots that I've got. I was just looking actually across Derwentwater there, back towards the town of Keswick. What? Back towards the town of Keswick. And I thought to myself, you know what I thought? I thought I'm gonna go around to Keswick and get myself a brekkie. That's what I'm gonna do. But what a morning. Something really different actually for me. Quite chilled out. And uh, I don't know actually, the, the light, might still be quite nice. If I take any more shots, I'll pop them up at the end, but I doubt it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Can't wait for the brekkie. Cheers for the support, <laughs> and I shall see you on the next adventure. Out.